This is Twit. Okay, so <laughs> I labeled this one, huh, Google? Um, last Thursday, Google's Mark Rischer, R-I-S-H-E-R, -E uh, their director of product management for identity and user security, posted to the Google blog under the safety and security section uh, an entry titled, quote, a simpler and safer future without passwords. Okay, now, unfortunately, that's not what his blog post addressed. And no one seems to be exactly sure uh, what his blog was trying to say and what it did address, since it led to many confusing and misleading tech press headlines. I saw a headline... Google wants to enable multi-factor authentication by default. And another headline, Google is turning on two-factor authentication by default. And, and another one, Google will start automatically enrolling users in two-step verification soon. Uh, okay. So, uh, and on top of that, I saw many users who read this to mean that Google would be requiring the use of two-factor authentication. And I can certainly see how one might get that, you know, like come away with that feeling from the confused headlines. It's also not helpful that Google has apparently decided to create a new term and, and abbreviation. You know, everyone already knows what two-factor authentication is. In fact, the headlines... Generally, two of the three used that, even though Google didn't, because that's what we call it. We call it two-factor authentication, typically abbreviated 2FA. But now we have Google's 2SV, which is what they're using it, which is two-step verification. Okay, but if you first put in your email address, then you put in your password, then you're asked to do something else. Aren't we already up to three steps of verification? <laughs> That's a good point. They For just don't want to. They don't want to act like it's two factors, right? They just want to say it's another the, step, right? Yeah. Okay. But if you need to go get your phone, arrange to unlock it with your identity, then respond to a prompt or text message or a one-time password, we're up to about six or seven steps by that point. You know, I, I've lost count. Anyway. Uh, so I read through Mark uh, Reicher's, Reicher's blog posting, uh, and here's the problematic paragraph that no one is quite sure how to interpret. He wrote, Today, we ask people who have enrolled in two-step verification, okay, 2SV, to confirm it's really them with a simple tap via a Google prompt on their phone whenever they sign in. Here it comes. Soon, we'll start automatically enrolling users in 2SV if their accounts are appropriately configured. Uh, what? <laughs> so, I have no idea what he means when he says, we'll start automatically enrolling users in two-step verification if their accounts are appropriately configured. What does appropriately configured mean? Uh, yeah, huh? I wish they were so clearer on this. I mean, they they in their minds know what that means, but they haven't well, told us. Yes, and and you're reading my mind, Leo, because uh, in the show notes I wrote, and that's the problem. It apparently means something to Mark, but it's gobbledygook to the millions of people who read Google's blogs, and also apparently to the tech press, which tried to write news stories around it. Okay, now as we all know, you either have Second factor authentication enabled for authentication to your Google account, as I do, or you don't. There's no third setting labeled, well, I'm open to the idea, hit me up when you want. You know, we don't have that. So the only thing I can figure is that, I don't know, Mark woke up last Thursday and his calendar told him that it was World Password Day as indeed it was. So he thought, oh, crap, that's right. 
I'm director of product management for identity and security. I better think of something to say. So he banged out that confusing blog post to the world. You know, I, I think what we need to take away from his aberrant posting is that Google is a fan of using more than just our email address and password for authentication. You know, we know that's true. Uh, and that in the interests of their users, they plan to arrange to somehow encourage more of their users to add a second factor, or as they put it, another step to their logons. But as you know, as for what Mark wrote last Thursday f to celebrate World Password Day, I have no idea what he could possibly mean by automatic enrollment in 2SV, you know, two-step verification, nor does anyone else at this point, you know, and maybe they don't know. Uh, but, you know, looking at just what a mess this caused out in the press, if they thought that removing FTP support from Chrome might cause a ruckus, just watch what happens if they start surprising their users with the presumably unwanted additional complexity of two-step verification, which sounds like it's more like six or seven steps, um, you know, I guess we're going to find out. And, you know, and Leo, thinking about this further, you know, they do have, they've, they've authorized Android phones to get involved in a simple authentication yeah, cycle, I, I right? I think they have the single, that's what they're talking, talking about, a single sign. I think, it works on an Apple phone too, by the way, if you have the Google app on your Apple phone. And right. that may be what they're thinking. And that's what Microsoft uses that, the single sign-on, which is great. I love it. So so would they be aware of it for users, and but like see that a user has the app and then say, hey, yeah. happen to know <laughs> exactly. you're an Android person, yeah. so you can do this. They wouldn't even say that. They just would start using it. Uh, and Really? Yeah, but oh, if you well, didn't have the app, the it wouldn't app mean anything. So you'll get a notification on your phone, and so it'll say, click OK on your phone. I've seen actually this happen. Uh, I mean, it happens to me all the time with Google. It but says, if you're on your desktop logging in? Yeah, it says, click then... OK on your phone. Oh, OK. And then, and then if that doesn't work, it says, try another way. You know, they give you, it's, it's not like a, but I think, honestly, it's, that's yeah. maybe why he calls it two-step, because it isn't. In fact, it's one step because I mean it's it's <laughs> one it's factor. Two steps back. Two well, steps no, I like single sign-on, <laughs> but w with Microsoft, for instance, when you sign on to Windows, instead of saying what's your password, it says what's your you know you put your Microsoft account uh, email in there, right? And then it says, okay, here's th here's uh, look on your phone for the number eighty and tap it, and I think it's a far preferable way. There's no password at all. And, I, and that's kind of what Google does with their single sign-on. And I've seen this happen with single sign-on. I suspect that's what he's talking about. But the problem is he, he, it isn't clear at all what he's talking about. No, and no, nor did he, like, in any way, no, nowhere did he talk about the end of passwords. He just, you know, said we're going to add steps. So, it's But like, that's what okay. single sign-on, in effect, does. You know, you don't enter your Microsoft password now when you first set up Windows. You just, if you, but... You have to have the Authenticator app on your phone, and Microsoft knows that you do and knows that you've used it. Same, similarly, Google would have to know that you have that capability. Yeah. And you're right. On a Pixel phone, you don't need an app. On an iPhone, you need the Google app. And then I, yeah. pr I love it because then I just you know tap OK on my phone. And well, I'm Leo, I, I worked on something called Squirrel for quite a while. Yeah, it's kind so of I'm, squirrelish. I'm well yeah. aware of the, <laughs> the benefits. Yeah. Yes, yeah. indeed.